Welcome to Thai Food Emporium. We're cooking up your favorite Thai basil chicken today. We've got ourselves a nice cut of chicken, the essential Thai basil. Often this is confused with other types of basil. So this obviously is what we call holy basil or kapow. Thai basil is generally horapa, which is used to sweeten Thai curries. It doesn't have quite as strong a flavor. This one is soy sauce white soy sauce. This one is oyster sauce and finally over here we've got fish sauce. And then we've got the small chilies, not too many, you don't need these are the fricky no or mouth dropping chilies, popular in Thailand. And garlic of course which we're crushing there. And the sugar to sweeten the dish and give that balance of flavours. We've got a nice, nice big chicken breast, and you can chop the pieces into decent slices. We picked this one up from the local market village, Tesco Lotus, for 39 baht, which is comes in at just under a pound. Next up, we're gonna crush the garlic slices. Rather than chop them, this is a little trick which will help you to get the flavours out of the garlic. There we go. See the juice is coming out. Look at those spicy juices coming out of those. This will just release all the extra flavors because this dish just cooks up quite quickly. It's a quick stir fry. So we'll start off with a decent temperature. And go in there with the Oil. We're using a uh, vegetable oil. Okay, so get the chilies and the peppers in there first of all. Get these mixing up. You obviously can add the chilies to your own taste, but these do kick. They do provide a nice kick. So just. Get those going till this, till it starts to get golden. Now it's a real privilege to to make this at home. This is one of the go-to dishes for many Westerners and and for locals alike in Thailand. And if you haven't tried it yet, then you absolutely must. Oyster sauce going in next. A nice, good bit of oyster sauce and soy sauce. Finally, okay. Let's bump up the heat a little bit. Let's get some sugar in there. Okay, and now we've got the key ingredient. Here is the Thai holy basil, which we're going to put plenty of. And this sells very cheaply, or it can even be found in many gardens. Why it's such a popular ingredient, and it really does have 
a strong taste, but in this dish, it just balances it out. Wow. those colors in there. This is a freshness, the distinctive. We can probably just drop the heat down now. Make sure, make sure you add the basil right at the end so you get the fresh flavors coming out. Okay, so now we've cooked it up, we come to the best part. And look how nicely that is presented. Here we have it, Thai basil chicken. Pad ka pao gai. Kai dao. Don't forget the egg on top. Mmm. 